All right, fourth graders, here is our Chapter 7 review word problem practice. This will be helpful for practicing our constructed responses. So here we go. Let's take a word problem. Hayden is making a baseball jersey for himself. He needs five and one-third yards of blue material and three and two-thirds yards of red material. How much more blue material does he need than red material? Well, let's go through and underline the important facts. Um, he needs, while well, he's making a baseball jersey, it's good to know, he needs five and one-third yards of blue material, three and two-third yards of red material, and the question is, how much more blue material does he need than red material? Okay, so just by looking at the mixed numbers, I can tell he needs more blue. Five and one-third is greater than three and two-thirds. All right, and if they're asking how much more, that means I'm going to need to subtract. So, if I'm going to subtract five and one-third blue material, take away three and two-thirds red material, well, hmm, I can subtract my whole numbers. Five minus three is two, but look at those numerators. Can one take away two? No, it can't. So, you can either change them into improper or use a number line. What I'm going to do is change them into improper fractions. So, I'm going to use a different color. So, to change 5 and 1 third into an improper fraction, multiply on the bottom, add the top. So, 3 times 5 is 15, plus 1 is 16. Denominator stays the same. Now, 3 and 2 thirds. 3 times 3 plus 2. Well, 3 times 3 is 9, plus 2 is 11. Denominator stays the same. Okay, so now I can subtract because 16 can take away 11. 16 minus 11 is 5. Denominator stays the same. Okay, so that means he'll need 5 thirds yards more material than blue material. But I'm not going to leave it as an improper fraction. I'm going to change it back into a mixed number. So you do that by numerator divided by the denominator. The quotient is 1, remainder 2. Your quotient becomes your whole number. The remainder becomes your numerator. And denominator stays the same. So my final answer would be Hayden needs one and two thirds yards more blue material than red material. So now let's take a look at my constructed response I wrote. I have the original word problem up in the left hand corner for us to refer to. And just so everybody knows, over here, when I typed my response, I couldn't do use the fraction above and below like this. When I typed it, it went beside it with a slash mark. It means the same thing. Okay, just wanted to show you that before I read it. So here's my constructed response after I did my work. Hayden will need one two-thirds more blue material than red material for his jersey. I found this by subtracting three and two-third yards of red material from five and one-third yards of blue material. First, I changed each mixed number into improper fractions, which gave me 16 thirds yards of blue material and 11 thirds yards of red material. Then, I subtracted the numerators to find Hayden needed 5 thirds more yards of blue material. Finally, I changed this improper fraction back into a mixed number by dividing the numerator, 5, by the denominator, 3, and found the quotient, 1, and the remainder, 2. The quotient becomes the mixed number's whole number, the remainder becomes the mixed number's numerator, and the denominator remains the same. Therefore, 
Hayden will need one and two-third yards more blue material than red material to make his jersey. So let's take a look at that response. Did I, let's say, use details in my first sentence to explain my answer? Well, here's Hayden's name. Here's my answer. Oh, and I included details, more blue material than red material. And I even added in for his jersey. Okay. And then, did I explain everything step by step? Well, I did set up this problem first. Two-thirds take away from five and one-thirds. Okay. And then, did I explain that I changed them into improper fractions? Yep. Changed each mixed number into improper fractions. I even stated what those improper fractions were and labeled them. And then did I explain that I subtracted the numerators? Yep, that's what I did next. And then did I explain that I changed that final improper fraction back into a mixed number? Yes. Improper fraction back to a mixed number. And I even explained all the steps. Dividing the numerator. Ooh, I need to spell dividing right. I have to go back and fix that. Dividing the numerator 5 by the denominator 3 and found a quotient of 1 and the remainder 2. I even explained the quotient becomes the whole number, the remainder becomes the numerator, and the denominator remains the same. Did I have a conclusion sentence? Yes, I did. Therefore, Hayden will need two -thirds, 1 and 2 thirds more blue material than red material. Now, another thing to check for is to make sure that you've labeled all your numbers. So, I'm going to use a different color, just so you can see. So I'm going to go through and look at all my numbers and make sure I have them labeled. One and two-thirds blue material. Three and two-thirds yards red material. Five and one-third yards blue material. Oh, 16 third yards of blue material, 11 third yards of red material, 5 thirds more yards of blue material. Oh, I said numerator 5, denominator 3, quotient 1, remainder 2. Now remember, those didn't have red or blue material attached to those numbers, but I did describe what they were. The numerator was 5, the denominator was 3, the quotient was 1, the remainder was 2. And then any other numbers? Oh yeah, 1 and 2 thirds yards more blue material. Alright, I checked over my work carefully. I found that one error that I would need to fix, the dividing word. But other than that, I think we got it all. So, use this as an example of how to write your constructed response for the next problem. This is your only practice problem. Connor's buying lifesavers to build his Connoranium molecule. He needs six and two fifths pounds of green lifesavers and two and four fifths pounds of red lifesavers. How many more pounds of green lifesavers will he buy than red lifesavers? So make sure you show all of your neat work step by step and then write your constructed response and go through like I did. Maybe underline all the parts where you use details, all the parts where you labeled your fractions. Carefully check it over and compare it to my example one on the previous page. Alright, have a great night.